Okay, today what we're going to have a look at is uh, the prototype tunneling of uh, internet traffic over serval mesh. So we have here a couple of phones running uh, experimental version of serval mesh, and they're set up. One of them is connected uh, to a network that has internet access, uh, and the other one is uh, connecting via it. So, uh, Jeremy, if you can take us back out, and we'll go through and set the uh, the proxy up. Right. So you can see that they're on the same yeah. Wi-Fi network, and they can see each other. Um, we'll set this one up as a um, connection with a connection to the internet. So we'll go into proxy and we will start a HTTP proxy. And we can see that it's doing something over here and it says that it's now accepting connections. We can manually configure a whitelist of all the, uh, a list of all of the neighbors and if we don't select anyone then everybody gets access. It's a bit crude at the moment but we can uh, block or allow individuals. So if we go over here and look at our proxy screen, we should find that it searches for the HTTP proxy and discovers it. So we can select that we want to use this proxy, and then we get the... Right, so what's happening here is that this phone is running a proxy on its local, local host that can connect out to the internet. It's then set up a port binding so that um, Serval can communicate with it. This phone does the reverse, that it has the Serval connection that can run through the proxy and it listens locally so the browser can connect locally to connect here to get out to the internet. So the connection between the phones is IP traffic tunneled over a MSP, a mesh streaming protocol socket uh, that exists totally in the overlay. So, so, so the one thing we need to know here is that you need to configure your browser to talk to the local end of the proxy connection. So let's go and do that now. So it's localhost 8123, and we can get to the Wi-Fi settings quickly from here. Uh, we go into advanced proxy numbers 127.0.0.1, and I missed that, didn't I? Ah, painful entry. There we go. Back one. Yeah, that's it. And the port number is 8123. Right, so now the browser on this phone should try to use the proxy. And we'll just find it there. And it connects to the internet, which seems to just work. We can have a look at some images. when the browser wants to let me click on things. There we go. There's some images. We can click on stuff. And we can prove that it's doing an actual proxy connection by failing. If we go to a page that doesn't exist, this particular proxy gives us an error page that's um, a funny shade of mauve, whatever that is. Uh, and we can see that it's talking to uh, micro proxy, which is indeed the, the little proxy uh, software that we have in this experimental version of the serval mesh. Right. So, there we go. Yeah, so uh, the interesting thing with this, of course, is it means that we have end to end uh, ability to tunnel uh, internet traffic over the mesh. We have MSP working, which is kind of our mesh v equivalent to TCP. Uh, so there's a whole kind of pile of pieces that uh, we're very happy that we have uh, pulled together. Uh, for this demonstration, of course, where things like MSP will be more interesting is not just between a pair of phones, but where, for example, you have a phone uh, which is going to be the uh, the client connecting, uh, and it might be an access point on a commotion or a server wireless network uh, with internet connectivity uh, that's giving you the uh, the outbound connection. And the people that are running that may want to control who can have access, so that all the uh, the ACL uh, bits and pieces are useful in that as well. Uh, so we're not sure when this will uh, end up in the a production release. Uh, but it's, uh, it's a whole pile of interesting capabilities that um, hopefully will be useful to, uh, uh, to some people as we uh, progress down that path. And most importantly, the um, connection between the two phones is using Serval's uh, encryption system so that all the packets are safe from data snooping so that nobody can tell uh, which web pages you're going to. Yeah, which for a bunch of the, uh, the potential users we've been looking at, uh, is important. And even in a disaster zone, you don't necessarily want uh, people who aren't nice in the disaster no zone knowing what you're looking at. And you know, if you're trying to 
get information on a location or where there's food or water or whatever, uh, you don't want uh, bad guys kind of intercepting you on your way there. So uh, yeah, the, the, the security, the authenticity, uh, it all really helps to make it useful in practice. Okay, thanks.